3D printers, what used to be a niche technology has now revolutionized the way we create everything, from everyday objects to cutting edge prototypes. It uses specialized equipment to create solid three-dimensional objects from a digital file. The process was first invented by Charles Hull in the 1980s and has since grown exponentially. It holds various opportunities. We have homes and buildings made completely out of 3D printing. By 2029, the 3D printing industry is estimated to reach a value of $84 billion. But what exactly goes into the creation of these modern technological marvels? Whether you're a tech enthusiast or simply curious about these gadgets, you are at the right place. So let us explore the intricacy of engineering and engineering that led to the 3D printers. Now then, before we actually get into the nitty and gritty of the details about manufacturing, let's quickly review what a 3D printer actually does. You see, they're not like those magical boxes in sci-fi shows, rather, the printers use a layering method. They work from the ground up, pilling the layer after layer until the object looks like it was envisioned. This process is called additive manufacturing. The 3D printers use computer-aided design, CAD, to create the objects layer by layer. Depending on the type of 3D printer, this can be done through various methods. You have fused deposition modeling, FDM, where melted plastic is used to make the actual objects. You have stereolography. With SLA using UV light to cure liquid resin into solid layers. And then you have selective laser sintering in which powdered material is melted using a laser to create solid parts. Now if that all makes sense, let's take a look at how these machines are actually built. The early discussions of 3D printers led into the printer's blueprint, a detailed plan of the printer's mechanical structure, software and electronics. Engineers and designers used CAD, computer-aided design, to create a virtual model of the printer's parts. This was done with immense precision and a lot of experimentation trying different types of configurations. With the blueprint in hand, the next part of the process was prototyping. Prototyping allows for testing and refining of the design before moving to production. The focus was then shifted to sourcing the materials and components. Here is where the engineers worked their magic. Imagine setting up an orchestra where every component, the motor, belt, sensor and circuit board must harmonize with each other just perfectly. The frame is essentially the skeleton of the printer. It is typically constructed from materials like aluminium or steel for strength and rigidity. The manufacturing of the frame involves cutting, machining and assembly using techniques like CNC machining and welding. The frame is carefully designed to withstand the force involved in printing, but at the same time remain lightweight and provide a stable base.
the motion system in this printer's muscles. It moves the printer head and built plate with precision. This involves rails, stepper motors and belts. The movements must be smooth and accurate. The engineers work on kinematics, which is the study of motion in the printer's axes. Common systems include Cartesian core, X, Y and delta mechanisms. The print head or the extruder is a complex assembly that is responsible for melting and extruding the printing material. The key components of the print head include the heater, block, nozzle and stepper motor. The heater block melts the filament while the nozzle directs the material onto the building platform. The extruder pushes the filaments through the hot end to end layers of the print. The assembly process has to ensure consistent material flow and temperature control. This step requires attention to detail. Engineers design the components to handle different materials. Now, you may be wondering what kind of materials we can use for 3D printers. Well, obviously you can't use liquid ink. Well, you can use those plastic, but not all kinds of plastic. 3D printers generally use thermosetting plastics and typically acrylonitrile, butadiene, citrine, ABS, the same material that Legos are made of. You can also use metal filaments made of finely ground metals and polymer glue and carbon filaments for objects that need to be strong as well as lightweight. Also known as the print bed, it is where the object is printed. It is usually made from a flat metal or glass surface and needs to be smooth and level. Some platforms are coated with Biltec or PEI or heated to enhance adhesion for easy removal of printed objects. The electronics of the brain of the 3D printer, modern 3D printers are equipped with a variety of electronic components including a main control board, sensors, microcontrollers, display screens or web wiring. They interpret the digital model and translate it into precise movements commanding the motors and heaters. With all these individual components ready, the assembly process begins as they are integrated into a fully functional 3D printer system. Technicians with great patience and skill assemble the frame, mount the motors, install the extruder and wire the up the electronics. Each part has to be installed correctly and aligned precisely as even the smallest error can disrupt the entire system. This is the technological equivalent of perfecting the new recipe. Once assembled, the printer undergoes rigorous testing. Technicians perform calibration tests to ensure that the printer movements are accurate, the extrusion system delivers the right amount of material, and temperature controls are working correctly. A series of these test prints are also performed, tweaking settings to verify that the printer can produce high quality objects without compromising the speed. The system includes troubleshooting any issues that may arise and fine tuning the printer settings.
The last phase of the 3D printer creation is software development and user experience design. Here, developers focus on making the intuitive interfaces and reliable software for controlling the printer. They design a slicing software that translates the 3D model into instructions that the printer can understand. This part forms the bridge between the user's imagination and the machine's capabilities. User design experts work on making the printer accessible and easy to use by making user manuals, design setup wizards and including features like Wi-Fi, USB or SD slots to ensure that the printer's interface is user friendly. After all this, the 3D printer undergoes quality control process to make sure that it meets all the design specification and quality standards. After the finally getting the seal of the approval, it is ready to leave the factory. It is carefully packaged and shipped to customers worldwide. In the hands of designers, engineers and hobbyists, these machines bring ideas to life creating everything from intricate ornaments to complex architectural models. So what's next for 3D printer manufacturing? The field of 3D printing is advancing rapidly. New materials are being developed to expand the capabilities of 3D printers, including biodegradable materials, advanced polymers and metal alloys. New techniques such as high-speed sintering and continuous liquid interface production are being explored to increase the speed and improve the precision of 3D printers. As its technology advances, its applications expand, imagine a world where 3D printing can build houses, produce organs required for transplants and custom prosthetics or make components for space rockets and airplanes. All these are just the surface of the 3D printer's potential. In theory, the only limit is your imagination. So there you have it, a complete overview of the 3D printers and how they're manufactured, from the initial design and prototyping to component manufacturing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content. See you soon again.